Webflow versus Framer. What's the right choice for your startup or enterprise in 2025? In this video, we'll break down the key differences between these two rising platforms so you don't waste time or budget building on the wrong one. You'll see why Framer is designer first and great for mockups, how Webflow scales with real teams, not just prototypes, the truth about AI features in both platforms, and how to decide based on your business needs. Let's get into it. Framer, designer first, prototype driven. Framer is basically the middle child between Figma and Webflow. It's built for designers, not marketers, not developers. If your workflow already lives in Figma, Framer feels familiar. Drag and drop interface that mimics Figma's layout engine. Ideal for solo designers and small teams wanting control over visuals. Great for animations, visual polish and fast mockups. But here is the catch. You'll hit a ceiling with customization. Developers can't easily extend it. CMS is basic and roles or permissions are weak. Framer is great if you're a visual designer owning the whole site. But if you're trying to scale marketing efforts with multiple stakeholders, it starts to crack. Since it doesn't have the advanced capabilities most of these companies require. Webflow, on the other hand, takes a different path. Webflow, built for scaling businesses. It's built for scale, collaboration and customization. You get a visual builder just like Framer, but underneath it, Webflow gives you structured CMS tools, custom code options, advanced integrations, and permission systems that let whole teams work safely and quickly. Webflow is also SOC 2 compliant and its hosting is one of the best and most reliable in the world with 99.9% .9 uptime. Ideal for big companies where every minute of downtime means thousands of dollars lost in sales. It's why our clients like Stripe, Jasper, Kajabi and Sequoia all use Webflow to scale digital experiences. It's basically a no contest when it comes to Webflow versus Framer for SaaS or Enterprise. For startups, that means you can launch fast and keep moving fast. For enterprises, it means scale, security and team collaboration that actually works. So if you want clean, fast, extensible websites, a design system that developers can build on, integration with tools like HubSpot, Segment or Salesforce, Webflow is the way to go. And if you need help launching or improving your site on Webflow, you can click the link below and we at Flowout can help you out. AI integration, different goals, different users. Both platforms are building AI features, but with different end users in mind. Framer leans into AI as a design assistant. Want a landing page with a specific vibe? Just prompt the AI and it will make it for you. It's great for solo designers or founders who want to skip the wireframing phase. Webflow, on the other hand, is focused on scalability and extension. Their AI helps you generate components, auto-style content and improve production workflows. Perfect for large teams, agencies and complex systems. So while both are leaning heavily into AI, the use case is wildly different. Framer's AI helps you start faster. Webflow's AI helps you scale better. So which one should you use? Who should use what? Framer. If you are a designer building solo or launching fast mockups, Framer feels natural. Great for smaller sites, animations and visual first workflows. Webflow. If you are running a business with multiple teams, especially in SaaS, enterprise or agency. Webflow wins on scale, stability and flexibility. Most enterprise teams don't even consider Framer. Webflow leads in performance, structure and real-world functionality. Now, okay, Framer is not meant for bigger companies. But what about Wix? They have been doing moves to cater to that audience more. So in the next video, I'm going to go through the full comparison between Wix and Webflow and which one to use as a SaaS or enterprise company. Click here to watch that next and I'll see you in the next video.